Chapter 161. Compassion. When the crowd heard the noise of stone being smashed during the auction, they all looked in Lin Feng's direction. The crowd was stupefied. That area was reserved for distinguished guests. How could anyone make trouble in that area? There were also many people who had come with Lin Feng and they couldn't help but be stupefied when they saw Lin Feng smash the stone seating table into pieces. Lin Feng had caused trouble in the prisoner arena and was now causing trouble again. The beautiful woman was astonished as well. A moment ago, she had hidden her tears behind her hands by covering her face and when she put her hands down, she saw the table and chair had been reduced to tiny pieces. She didn't know what to think anymore. Surprisingly, there was one person who was protecting her at her workplace, and it wasn't the manager. The manager was also surprised to see that Lin Feng had become so furious that he had reduced the furniture to rubble. Because he had ignored Lin Feng again, Lin Feng had become furious, and the manager was actually slightly frightened. He was staring at Lin Feng. He looked cold yet vigilant. But Lin Feng ignored his facial expression and said coldly, I brought my demonic fire lion to sell it here at your auction market which makes me a distinguished guest here. Is this how you treat your distinguished guests though, by ignoring them and humiliating them? The people in the crowd were very nervous. The demonic fire lion was very attractive, but they were very curious about Lin Feng. Someone who had brought a demonic fire lion had to be a distinguished guest of the highest level, but why was it that he was being ignored by the manager? I am one of your distinguished guests, just like him, but from the moment I got here he has not stopped offending me. I did not go out of my way to offend him. You obviously have no idea how to treat your clients. You disregard me to make him happy and want to hand over the waitress that was serving me to him. You never once asked for my opinion or cared about offending me. He was the one in the wrong and yet you grovel to him like a dog. As one of the managers at the auction market, by acting with such disregard for me, do you believe I am unable to sell my demonic fire lion anywhere else? Said Lin Feng. He then stood up and said, Since you have treated me with complete disregard, I want my demonic fire lion back. I don't care about being a distinguished guest here. I will take the demonic fire lion and all of the customers that followed me to another auction. When the crowd heard these words, they all looked at the beautiful woman on his side, as well as the noble young man who was sat behind him. They instantly understood that the young man was part of the Meng clan. This is why the manager did not dare to offend him. However, by doing that way, he was disrespecting Lin Feng who had become furious. He was making Lin Feng lose face. Anyone who was in Lin Feng's position would also be furious. To be ignored and humiliated to such an extent was infuriating. The manager's face had a rigid expression. That little bastard he didn't know that Lin Feng was the esteemed guest who was selling the demonic fire line. He hadn't thought that Lin Feng would react so aggressively. The manager had no way to justify his behavior towards Lin Feng. At that moment, a silhouette appeared in the area reserved to distinguished guests. It was the old man from the backstage of the auction who had previous spoken with Lin Feng. It was clear that after hearing the noises from backstage he was angry. Apologize now, you do not know how to treat esteemed guests, said the old man while sounding extremely angry at the way the manager had behaved. Apologize, do you think words are enough? said Lin Feng in a cold tone. The old man's body diffused a cold energy and he transformed into a shadow. Boom! The old man's shadow slapped the manager who had angered Lin Feng across the face. The power contained within this strike sent his body flying backwards. What a useless person! said the old man coldly. That young manager was a completely not even worth his time. Even though as a manager he has a high status, how could he ignore anyone sitting in this area? How could he completely disregard one customer and side with the other who was causing the trouble? Treating Lin Feng that way in front of everyone was like a slap in the face. How could Lin Feng not be furious? Was no one capable of using their brains? The manager was crawling on the ground, stood up and wiped the blood from corner of his mouth. He looked furious, 
He then looked at Lin Feng with murder in his eyes, but he didn't dare say a word. Are you still not begging for forgiveness? Shouted the old man coldly. The manager was stupefied, but when he saw the old man's murderous expression, he started shaking. He looked at Lin Feng and said, I'm sorry. You initially thought that you were smart to put him first, but now you know you are nothing but a fool. Said Lin Feng when he heard that the manager wasn't sincere in his apology. He then added, Get him out of here. Didn't you hear him? Get lost. Said the old man. The manager was so furious that his cheeks were burning. He evilly glanced at Lin Feng. Immediately after, he turned around and left. How he looked at the moment was a huge contrast in comparison to a moment ago when he had seemed so majestic. When the old man saw that the manager was leaving, he smiled at Lin Feng with a regretful expression and said, Are you satisfied with how things were solved? Lin Feng looked at the old man and pointed at the beautiful woman in front of him and said, That will take it out on her because of me. If I ask you to give her to me, will you refuse? Your intentions are good. Of course you can have her, said the old man while looking at the beautiful woman. She was lucky to have met Lin Feng. Besides, giving her to Lin Feng wasn't a problem for the auction market as they had plenty of servants to replace her. Lin Feng slightly nodded looking satisfied. He then said, I hope that every distinguished guest will be treated the same from now on and not be more degenerates who will cause trouble. The noble young man's pupil shrank and he looked at Lin Feng in a very aggressive way. Lin Feng had humiliated him many times, calling him a dog and a degenerate. When the old man heard Lin Feng, he understood what he really meant. He then immediately turned to the young man and said, Young Master Meng, this is the auction market and I hope that you do not plan on making us lose face. We will not accept such a disturbance from you again in the future. What you do outside is your business, but when inside the auction market, you best behave. The young man looked at Lin Feng in a particularly evil way and thought that after the auction, he would be able to deal with Lin Feng. He would definitely kill Lin Feng after the auction. This was not finished. The old man took the silence as an understanding to his warning. Thank you, young master Meng, for understanding, said the old man indifferently. He then immediately added, I hope that everybody else will be wise enough to respect our rules. Now, I have spoken enough, let the auctions continue. When he finished talking, the old man glanced at Lin Feng one last time and his silhouette flashed as he left. Lin Feng looked at the vanishing silhouette while smiling happily in his heart. The old man had made things extremely clear. If the young man wanted to fight against Lin Feng outside of the auction, then he could, but as long as they were inside he would be under the old man's protection. Lin Feng had made the young master furious but as they were still inside the auction, he had no choice but to calm down and let Lin Feng sit in peace. However, the moment that Lin Feng left that old man's protection, the young master would have his revenge. Thank you, kind sir, said the beautiful woman while looking at Lin Feng. The expression in her eyes looked infinitely grateful. She clearly understood that Lin Feng had felt compassion for her which is why he had asked the old man to become her new master. She understood that Lin Feng knew that her situation would be miserable in the future. Lin Feng was saving her from an extremely tragic destiny. I just did what any good person should do, no need to thank me, said Lin Feng but the beautiful woman shook her head showing that she disagreed with him. In her eyes the young man wearing the silver mask was so mysterious. He looked insolent and arrogant but actually beneath his mask he was hiding many emotions. Looking very strong, he had attracted everybody's attention by smashing that table which had purposely gained the attention of the old man to their current situation. The beautiful woman was endlessly grateful to Lin Feng. In spite of everything else, Lin Feng had protected her and had humiliated the noble young man because of her. He had also humiliated the manager of the auction because of her. If Lin Feng hadn't taken care of her, she would have become the property of the young man and her death would have been certain. Before she used to think that she was just a servant in the auction market, 
She was just a servant who was only slightly above a slave. If she hadn't been beautiful and kind, then she would have probably been forced into slavery. She had never been respected by anyone. Her dignity never mattered to anyone. But Lin Feng had protected both her life and her dignity. He had saved her from trouble and even thought about her well-being. She would be loyal and devoted to Lin Feng ever since the moment she became his. Lin Feng hadn't thought about any of this. Lin Feng had only done this because the mask could not hide the compassion which was within his heart. That woman had been humiliated by the young man because of Lin Feng. Lin Feng couldn't stand watching such a beautiful woman get defiled. He could not stand by and watch someone innocent suffer without doing something. Such actions were not within his heart. Chapter 162. Ba Dao. The auction continued. The heavy curtains opened, and two silhouettes came out. It was the old man and a slave with a huge marking carved into his face. The marking was Ba in huge letters on his face, which was the mark of his enslavement. His arms and legs were restrained with chains. The huge mark coupled with his long and messy hair made him look like a savage. Cultivation slave, thought Lin Feng stupefied. Surprisingly, there was a cultivation slave at the auction. Surprisingly, one could buy actual people at the auctions. At that moment, the crowd became really excited, especially those who had come from the prisoner arena and would frequently watch the fights on a regular basis. Ba Dao, it's Ba Dao, finally. Ba Dao had reappeared. Part of the crowd had been waiting to see him again for a long time. The old man glanced at the crowd and saw that they were all very excited, which caused him to have a smile across his face. Ba Dao has broken through to the sixth Ling Chi layer. He has won 81 battles at the prisoner arena, said the old man indifferently, which astonished the crowd. 81 victories? How scary! He had killed 81 people and had never lost a single battle. How terrifying! Lin Feng was stupefied as well. Winning 81 battles was easier said than done, especially against extremely strong cultivators of the 6th Ling Chi layer. 81 cultivators of the 6th Ling Chi layer had fallen by his hand. That wasn't a small amount. That was a terrifyingly large number and to make things even more terrifying, he never got to choose his own opponent. Making the blood of 81 extremely strong cultivators flow had made him as strong as he was at that moment. I do not need to talk much about the price. Everyone understands that he will most likely break through to the Zan Chi layer. When he does, then he will be able to compete with even one of the eight high officials. Everybody can imagine what it's like to possess a slave who is as strong as one of the eight high officials. Said the old man indifferently while smiling and then continued. For Ba Dao, the starting price is 200 purity stones of medium quality. Let the auction begin now. When the old man finished talking, the crowd became even more enthusiastic and excited. Everybody was fixedly staring at Ba Dao. That's right, in the future. He would be as strong as one of the eight high officials. If he was free, how powerful a figure he would be. As if he had just realized how enthusiastic and excited the crowd was, Ba Dao slowly raised his head. At that moment, a sharp force burst from his body. The crowd was shocked and got the feeling that it was dangerous to even look at him for too long. Ba Dao was glancing at the crowd. When he looked at Lin Feng, Lin Feng had the feeling that Ba Dao's sharp glare could cut through anything. It gave Lin Feng a shiver down his spine. That was definitely blade force. While Ba Dao and Lin Feng were looking at each other, blade force and sword force filled the entire atmosphere. It was very sharp, but very quickly, Ba Dao glanced at other people which suddenly relieved Lin Feng. His heart was pounding. How strong and powerful. That slave can control blade force. His force is also extremely thick and powerful, thought Lin Feng. No wonder that he had won 81 battles and never lost a single time. He could control blade force much better than even Mu Fan. It seemed like his blade force made him invincible against cultivators of his own layer. If there was a person like him who could use energy attacks, 
he would be able to oppress extremely strong cultivators who are even a few layers higher. The noble young man behind Lin Feng was extremely excited. A slave of the sixth Ling Chi layer who had killed 81 people. How tempting! If he could buy that slave, who would probably break through to the Zan Chi layer in the future, he would look imposing and majestic when ordering him around. 300 purity stones of medium quality, said one person. He immediately raised the starting bid by 100 purity stones. 500 purity stones of medium quality, said another person without hesitation. That price was already extremely low. A slave of the sixth Ling Chi layer wasn't necessarily very valuable, but a slave who had killed 81 people and would probably break through to the Zan Chi layer in the future was extremely valuable. 1000 purity stones of medium quality, said another voice sounding detached, which made Lin Feng's heart twitch for a second. These people were really rich. Lin Feng remembered how poor he was in the past and how miserable that was. He was now much better off, but he still did not have the money that these noble cultivators had. The one who had just said that Bid would probably spend the money of his family to buy that slave. 5,000 purity stones of medium quality, said another voice just at the moment when Lin Feng was thinking about how high the previous price was. He was stunned. 5,000 purity stones were a terrifying price. That was enough to practice in the cultivation tower for as long as you wished. Besides, that price had come from the noble young man behind Lin Feng. It was young Master Meng who wanted to buy the slave. When the crowd heard that price, they were all astonished. Many people were making a wry smile. At 5,000 purity stones of medium quality, they couldn't afford to pay more. That price was even slightly expensive for the slave. The old man uncommunicatively looked at the crowd, smiled and then said, Young Master Meng has raised the bid to 5,000 purity stones of medium quality. This is a slave who, in the future, will break through to the Zan Chi layer. Is there anyone else who wants to bid? Said the old man trying to tempt the others into bidding, but everybody remained silent. After all, 5,000 purity stones of medium quality were a terrifying price. 5,001, said a calm voice. The crowd was stupefied. They looked in the direction of the person who had just bid. The bid had come from directly in front of the young noble man, and it belonged to Lin Feng. The young man's pupils shrank. He coldly stared at Lin Feng's back. 5,000, 100 purity stones of medium quality. 5,101, said Lin Feng as calm as before. The crowd felt like they were watching a marvelous show. It seemed like Lin Feng was increasing the bid by a single purity stone each time on purpose. 5,500, said the young man sounding colder and colder. 5,501, said Lin Feng sounding calm and indifferent. The young man looked even more ferocious. But at that moment, the man next to him, who was wearing the gray robes, loudly interrupted him. Young master, the auctions are just one method. The young man was surprised and then started smiling coldly. Indeed, if he wanted the slave, he didn't necessarily need to get him through the auctions. The crowd was stupefied. He had probably said that only to scare Lin Feng. The young man had decided not to bid again. A short moment later, the old man said, Congratulations. The slave is yours. Leave him in the back for when I leave. You can auction my demonic fire lion and take the purity stones for the slave from its sale. Said Lin Feng indifferently. The old man remained silent for a few seconds and then said, No problem. The price of the demonic fire lion was always going to be much higher than the price of a slave. After all, when the demonic fire lion reached the Zan Qi level at maturity, it would become a god-like existence. When the demonic fire lion came out from the backstage, the crowd became extremely excited and enthusiastic. They were almost going insane with excitement. In the crowd, there was one person with long golden hair who looked very strange with a golden glow in his eyes. The young man with the golden hair whispered indifferently, Nobody can take that demonic fire lion from me today. 
The old man on the stage was calmly looking at the excited crowd. He waited until the excitement of the crowd reached its climax. He then raised his hand to make the crowd calm down and immediately said, I don't need to say much about the value of this demonic fire line. I am convinced that many of you have already seen it at the prisoner arena and dreamed of having it for yourself. Finally, it is now available at our auction market. Now, everybody has an opportunity to win this fierce beast. As it matures, it will reach the Zan Qi level and maybe even break through to the higher Tian Qi level. The old man was extremely excited too. He didn't understand how the demonic fire lion of the Bai clan had ended up in Lin Fang's hands. The Bai clan would have never given it to someone who wasn't a member of their clan. They also wouldn't ever dream of taking it to the auction. It would always remain within their clan. The old man had no idea of what had happened at the prisoner arena. Back then, the young man in yellow clothes had wanted to give the demonic fire lion to Mu Fan as a gift but it hadn't worked. Lin Feng had killed Mu Fan but what made the young man in yellow clothes feel even more depressed is that he was also at the auction market and was forced to witness the sale of the demonic fire lion. He hadn't had a chance to steal the beast back from Lin Feng, as what he had expected was that Lin Feng was going to use the demonic fire lion himself and not immediately sell it. He had never thought that before he had a chance to act, he would see the demonic fire lion on sale at the auction. Chapter 163 Horrifying Price The old man looked at the crowd who were bursting with excitement. He then finally said, All right. The starting price for the demonic fire lion is 500 purity stones of medium quality. Now, let the auction begin. When the old man finished talking, the crowd became extremely agitated. 1000, 1200, 1500. Many people were quickly raising the price, but everybody knew that the real bidding had yet to begin. How could a few thousand purity stones of medium quality be enough for a demonic fire lion? Lin Feng looked calm and indifferent on his seat. He had underestimated the price of the demonic fire lion, but after he had seen the price of the Ba Dao, he had understood that the price of the demonic fire lion was going to be extremely high. The beautiful woman next to Lin Feng was looking at him. The eyes under that silver mask surprisingly looked extremely calm when watching this scene. Master, how should I refer to you? Asked the beautiful girl to Lin Feng. Refer to me? Thought Lin Feng surprised. He then immediately said, You can call me Master Feng. Master Feng, my name is Yi Shui, said the beautiful girl in a sweet voice. Lin Feng slightly nodded and at that moment, the price of the demonic fire lion had already been raised to 3,000 purity stones. It wouldn't last too long until it reached the same price that was paid for the slave. The young master Meng glanced at Lin Feng with a cold smile across his face. He stood up and walked towards the edge of the area reserved for all the distinguished guests. He put his hand on the railing and said, Today, I, Meng Kong, am determined to obtain this demonic fire lion. Nobody should try to make me unhappy, otherwise it will not end well for that person. If you don't make me unhappy, then there will not be a problem and we can be good friends after the auction. When the crowd heard what Meng Kong said, they were surprised. What a bastard, he was suddenly threatening the entire crowd. This area was filled with noble and powerful cultivators and yet he dared to threaten them all. They had the choice, become his friend or become his enemy. Many people were staring at Meng Kong, but when they thought that he was from the Meng clan and was a distinguished guest for the auction, most people chose to remain silent. There was only one aristocratic family in the imperial city and their family name was Meng. Now, I say 3001 purity stones of medium quality, said Meng Kong with an indifferent smile on his face while glancing at Lin Feng. Lin Feng had dared to outbid him for the slave that he wanted so he would prevent Lin Feng from obtaining a high price on his demonic fire lion. The old man looked at Meng Kong from the stage. The fact that he was behaving like this had made the old man feel uncomfortable. The demonic fire lion is now mine, said Meng Kong sounding proud. 
Suddenly, a strong and imposing voice said, 4,000 purity stones of medium quality. Who said that? Said Meng Kong with an extremely cold tone. As proud he was a moment ago, he wouldn't have thought that someone would dare to make him lose face. That was intolerable. Meng Kong glanced at the crowd looking for the person who had bid higher than him. I said that, said a cold and indifferent voice. Immediately after, a silhouette in the crowd slowly stood up. It was a man with golden hair. He looked strange and it seemed like he was surrounded by a golden light. When the crowd saw him, their pupils shrank. It was him, Kuang Shi. Meng Kong's eyes shrank. What do you want? Said Kuang Shi. His golden eyes were looking directly towards the area where Meng Kong was sitting. Meng Kong was surprised. His facial expression had frozen. He then said, you are a brilliant disciple of the Wan Shou Men sect. Since you want that demonic fire lion, I will not make you lose face and I will let you have it. Kuang Shi turned around and ignored Meng Kong which made him even more furious. He was being humiliated over and over again. He, some laughing and giggling sounds spread in the atmosphere. While everybody was silent, this laughter sounded particularly sharp in Meng Kong's ears. His face was disgusting to look at. He slowly turned around and looked towards Lin Feng. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at people who proudly say words that are worth less than a fart. Lin Feng said sharply. Meng Kong was extremely aggressive and had threatened everyone within the crowd. But once Kuang Shi had come out, he had taken back everything he had said. He was even using the excuse that he just didn't want to make the other person lose face. It was just ridiculous and laughable. The Wan Shou Men sect was one of the strongest sects in the Shui Yu country and they were considered extremely strong even in the imperial city. Even though Meng Kong's status was extraordinary, even he didn't dare to offend a member of the Wan Shou Men sect. At that moment, Meng Kong was silent. On that day, he had already been humiliated a few times by Lin Feng and had not been able to regain face. He initially wanted to get the demonic fire lion to regain face and wanted to take advantage of his social status to threaten everybody within the crowd. He hadn't thought that he would be humiliated again, but this time by Kuang Shi. And even after that, he had been humiliated again by Lin Feng who loudly made fun of him. Meng Kong had made his entire clan lose face, but nobody took his mood into consideration. The old man smiled indifferently. He was still standing on the stage and said, 4,000 purity stones of medium quality. Is there anyone else who wishes to bid on the demonic fire lion? This demonic fire lion, I guarantee it will reach the Zan level in the future and could even reach the Tian level. It would become the overlord of the Shui Yu country. 4,500, said someone after hearing the old man's words which were very tempting. Even though they probably wouldn't be able to get the lion from Kuang Shi, they still might get lucky. That was a demonic fire lion. Who didn't want to try their luck? 5,000, said Kuang Shi looking expressionless. If he wanted something, he would definitely get it. Even Meng Kong had had to retreat because he understood Kuang Shi's temperament. 6,000, said an old man in a black chong pao while gnashing his teeth. 10,000 said Kuang Shi calmly which stupefied the entire crowd. When he said that, he looked absolutely unperturbed. No wonder people thought that the Yunhai sect was one of the sects with the least influence in the Shui Yu country. It seems like it was really true, thought Lin Feng. The Yunhai sect was really surpassed in wealth. The Yunhai sect lacked natural resources. It didn't have any vein of the earth for its disciples to practice within. A single disciple of the Wan Shou Men sect could spend 10,000 purity stones of medium quality while remaining unperturbed. The Yun Hai sect still regarded purity stones of lower quality as extremely valuable. 11,000, said the old man in black chong pao looking angry while exhaling through his gnashing teeth. His strength had already reached a bottleneck and he needed the aid of a ferocious beast. 15,000 said Kuang Shi. The crowd was astonished. Immediately after, some people smiled wryly. As expected, 
Nobody could compete with that guy. 15,000 is a sum that many wealthy and noble people couldn't afford coming from a single person and not a clan. It was even more monstrous. Nobody wanted to continue bidding after that. Finally, the final price for the demonic fire lion ended at 15,000 purity stones of medium quality. Lin Feng was smiling. He was very satisfied by the price. He had promised a hundred purity stones of medium quality to the crowd of people who had come with him. He had never thought that he would manage to get such a monstrous price. He originally thought that if he could sell it for 4,000 purity stones of medium quality, then it would be a great sum for him. He walked towards the backstage with Yi Shui. At that moment, a group of people came out with a pile of purity stones. There should be 9,000. 300 purity stones of medium quality here. You can check yourself, said the old man while looking at Lin Feng. Lin Feng smiled. 9,000 was much more than what he had anticipated. He took the purity stones and instantly the purity stones disappeared. The old man was stupefied. He looked at Lin Feng with a strange look. I must be too old. My sight is getting blurry said the old man while staring at Lin Feng's eyes under his silver mask. He had given so many purity stones to Lin Feng, that wasn't easy to carry. He hadn't thought that Lin Feng had a gnaw stone. Ordinary people didn't possess a gnaw stone. Lin Feng was so mysterious. Lin Feng smiled under his silver mask. The old man didn't ask much either. He pointed at Ba Dao and said, he's also yours now. Take him with you. At that moment, the old man was curious. Ba Dao had already broken through to the sixth Ling Chi layer. Would he obey to Lin Feng who was only at the fifth Ling Chi layer? Was Lin Feng strong enough? Come with me, said Lin Feng while looking at Ba Dao and sounding indifferent. Immediately after, he left and took the lead. Ba Dao was already unchained. He looked expressionless and was following behind Lin Feng. A short moment after leaving the auction market, Lin Feng turned around and stopped walking. He coldly looked at Ba Dao through his silver mask. Ba Dao looked cold and expressionless. If a cultivation slave was unchained, he could do whatever he wished. He didn't need to obey a master. After all, a cultivation slave was a human being. Chapter 164 The Dangerous Follower Lin Feng looked calm and serene under his silver mask. Ba Dao looked calm as well and didn't look agitated in the slightest. Lin Feng wanted to say something and then immediately asked, Do you want to be free? Ba Dao frowned. The letters that were carved onto his face made him look extremely cold. Ba Dao remained silent and uncommunicative. This was his way of staying obedient. Of course, he wanted to be free. Who enjoyed being someone's slave? I'm not the one who carved these letters onto your face. I don't force people into becoming slaves," said Lin Feng while looking at Ba Dao, who remained silent. He then slowly added, If you want to leave, you can turn around and leave now. I will not try to convince you to stay, and I will definitely not try to stop you. If you want to stay with me, then you will need to follow me. When Yi Shui heard what Lin Feng said, she was surprised. She was looking at Lin Feng in a strange way. He was surprisingly willing to let Ba Dao go even though he had spent over 5,000 purity stones of medium quality to buy him. 5,000 purity stones of medium quality was a great quantity and was enough to buy a great deal of strong slaves. Ba Dao seemed like he was going to say something. His bestial eyes were staring at Lin Feng. He looked pensive. I am only going to give you this single chance to make up your mind. If you want to leave, leave now. If you want to stay with me, then you will follow me and never betray me. Continued Lin Feng. He would give Ba Dao only one chance and no matter what his choice was, he would have to live with it. Ba Dao's choice would influence his future destiny. Ba Dao's facial expression became sharper. His cold and aggressive eyes were intensely staring at Lin Feng through the silver mask. Lin Feng's eyes looked as calm as before. Lin Feng could lose 5,000 purity stones of medium quality if Ba Dao left him. But if he decided to stay with Lin Feng, 
he would have to follow Lin Feng for the rest of his life and would not be allowed to regret his choice. Destiny often depends on choices. If Lin Feng hadn't bought him at the auction, then Ba Dao would still have been a slave. But now, Lin Feng was giving him the opportunity to regain his freedom. However, if he decided to stay, then he must follow Lin Feng and never betray him. Lin Feng couldn't afford spending so many purity stones on someone who would only cause him trouble in the future, as his virtue had limits. Lin Feng and Ba Dao were staring at each other. Their expressions were as sharp as blades, and the atmosphere was incredibly intense. In the atmosphere surrounding them, a cold and deadly qi filled the air. Yi Shui started shivering just from the atmosphere created by these two staring at each other. How cold that coldness didn't make a person's body feel cold though. The cold penetrated deep into the soul. I will follow you, and I will never betray you, said Ba Dao after having remained silent for a while. His sharp and cold expression vanished. His voice was soft, and he was nodding to Lin Feng. All right, said Lin Feng while smiling. Lin Feng had spent over 5,000 purity stones for this slave. If he had decided not to stay with him, then Lin Feng would be slightly disappointed. Now that Ba Dao had decided to stay with him, it was obviously the best outcome for Lin Feng. Remember what you said and make sure to never go back on your words. You could have had your freedom, but you chose to stay. You chose to stay and follow me. Since it's that way, if you betray me in the future, I will be forced to punish you. Said Lin Feng coldly. The air around him became much colder too. Ba Dao remained silent and nodded. He understood what Lin Feng meant. On that day, if Lin Feng hadn't been there, he would have been sold to someone else. If somebody else had bought him, then they would have wanted to exploit him as a slave. But Lin Feng had given him his freedom. Lin Feng wasn't treating him like a slave and gave him a choice. Lin Feng was treating him like he would anyone else, and he was not being treated like a slave. Ba Dao was just a slave. He had his name carved into his face. If he had chosen to leave Lin Feng, then no matter where he went, he would still be treated like a slave. People would have tried to capture him again, and he would have never been able to break free. If he was to gain his freedom, he would never be able to show his face again. The markings on his face had made him a slave and that is how people would treat him. Therefore, the choice that Lin Feng had given to Ba Dao was to follow Lin Feng, who would not treat him as a slave, or attempt to find a place which would treat him as mercifully as Lin Feng. Since it was Ba Dao's decision and he had been given the right to choose, he would never be able to regret his choice. He had chosen his destiny for himself. Lin Feng had not attempted to influence his decision. Let's go, said Lin Feng while starting to walk. Yi Shui and Ba Dao quickly followed behind him. At that moment, Ba Dao started walking slightly faster, and he moved close to Lin Feng without completely catching up and said from behind, there are some people who are following us. I know, said Lin Feng, who sounded indifferent and didn't even turn his head. Ba Dao looked at him in a strange way. Yi Shui's heart was also beating faster. She couldn't help but turn her head around. She just saw that about a hundred meters away, a man in gray robes was following them while glaring at the group. He didn't even try to hide, acting as if he didn't care about being spotted by them. It's him, said the beautiful Yi Shui. The man behind them was the man in gray robes who was with Meng Kong before. Ignore him, said Lin Feng sounding indifferent. Yi Shui turned around. She couldn't understand how Lin Feng could remain so indifferent. She found it uncomfortable. He's broken through to the seventh Ling Qi layer. His blood vessels are very strong and he is filled with power. The Qi that he keeps releasing is very strong and thick. A deadly Qi is emerging from his body as well. He must be very used to killing, so he will be very hard to defeat. It would be very difficult for me to fight against him, and if the battle lasts for too long, then I would probably lose," said Ba Dao in a low voice. Ba Dao was surprisingly able to determine other people's strength and abilities only by looking at them. Lin Feng was stupefied. 
He looked at Ba Dao with an incredibly strange face. Well, do you know how strong I am? Asked Lin Feng. Fifth Ling Chi Lei. You have a strong and thick chi. Your blood vessels are extremely vigorous. Besides, it seems like all the energy within your body is in perfect fusion. If I am not mistaken, it seems like you understand sword force to an extremely profound level. Any ordinary cultivator of the sixth Ling Chi layer would be unable to defeat you and maybe even myself. I would not guarantee that I could defeat you in a fight. Ba Dao said these words very calmly, which stupefied Lin Fan. It seemed like when he was describing the strength of the man in grey robes, it was very precise. With only a glance, Ba Dao could clearly determine a person's actual strength before actually fighting against them. Yi Shui was looking at Lin Feng in a strange way. He had just broken through to the fifth Ling Chi layer, and he surprisingly had dared to buy a slave of the sixth Ling Chi layer. Besides, he looked extremely confident and careless. We'll solve the problem. Lin Feng didn't speak much more. After that simple sentence, he started to accelerate his pace and kept walking forwards. Besides Lin Feng and the two others, the man in grey robes was surprised and then immediately smiled coldly. He said, I can easily catch up with you. Do you think that you can escape? Lin Feng was walking with a slave of the sixth Ling Chi Lei and had over 9,000 purity stones of medium quality on him. This was definitely tempting. The man in grey robes started walking on the tips of his toes. His entire body looked extremely skillful and agile while floating over the street like a gentle breeze. He was moving closer and closer to Lin Feng. But at that moment, Lin Feng and the two others changed their direction and went inside a restaurant. The man in the grey robes frowned. He then started walking even faster and finally arrived at the restaurant. He looked inside the restaurant but didn't see Lin Feng and the others. First floor. The man in the grey robes raised his head and looked at the flight of stairs when he saw a handsome young man standing around the stairs with a smile on his face. Get lost, said the man in the grey robes while walking towards the flight of stairs and moving past the handsome smiling boy. While the man in the grey robes was walking up the stairs, a silhouette appeared at the top of the stairs. That person was holding a long dagger. An extremely strong and sharp chi was emerging from it. Blade chi filled the atmosphere, and an overwhelming blade force was present, which made the people in the restaurant shrink back in fear. What sharp blade chi and he is actually using blade force? When the man in grey robes saw Ba Dao, he smiled coldly and said, Ba Dao, join our young master Meng, he will be sure to treat you well. There is no need to bring about your own destruction. Ba Dao ignored what the man in grey robes said and raised his long dagger into the air. An extremely sharp force was being released from it. While force was continuously flowing from his dagger, the atmosphere continued vibrating under the pressure. The man in the grey robes jumped into the air. Ba Dao's dagger released a magnificent light, which rushed through the air like a meteor. The mark of a blade suddenly appeared where the man in grey robes once stood. A rumbling noise spread down the flight of stairs. Suddenly, the rumbling noise stopped. The man in the grey robe saw the power of that strike and then shouted, Die! While shouting toward Ba Dao, the man in the grey robes made a quick movement with his hands. An incredibly strong force emerged from his hands and moved straight towards Ba Dao's dagger. Under the pressure of the force released by the man in grey robes, Ba Dao's body was slowly being pushed down. The man in grey robes raised his hand and was about to launch an attack, but at that moment, he had the sensation that something dangerous was behind him. His heart started to beat faster. He suddenly had the impression that he hadn't been vigilant enough and it had almost cost him his life. He turned around and immediately saw the handsome young man he had seen a moment ago. He had forgotten about all about him. But at that moment, the young man's black eyes looked expressionless and cold. They were filled with endless desolation. His heart cruelly twitched once again. Chapter 165. Frozen to death. It's him. The heart of the man in grey robes was unceasingly pounding.
He finally understood that he had forgotten about someone. He had surprisingly forgotten his initial target, Lin Feng. It was the friendly looking and handsome young man he had just encountered at the bottom of stairs. At that moment, Blade Force filled the atmosphere once again. It seemed like the Blade Force was lacerating the entire atmosphere. The man in the grey robes was still floating mid-air. He did not know what to do. No matter if it was Ba Dao's extreme strength or the young man with the expressionless eyes, he had the feeling that both were extremely dangerous. He suddenly had an idea and finally came to a decision. Ba Dao who had broken through to the 6th Ling Chi layer was the one who scared him the most. If Ba Dao was behind him then it would be way too dangerous. 81 people of the 6th Ling Chi layer had died by Ba Dao's hands. He used to be a slave at the prisoner arena, where his life was at stake during each battle. He was not someone who could be taken lightly. The man in the grey robes was strongly shaking. His robes were fluttering in the air. His rigid body suddenly released a violent and deadly chi. The extremely strong attack of the man in the grey robes moved through the air straight towards Ba Dao. Rumble rumble rumble. The entire restaurant was shaking. The force that was released by the two fighters was ripping the ornaments in the restaurant and the furniture was being crushed. People were moving farther away from the fight. The tables and chairs where they were sitting were breaking apart and some even exploded under the pressure. The blade force was extremely cold. Under the pressure of Ba Dao's dagger, the man in the grey robes progressively moved back down the stairs. He glanced towards Lin Feng and saw that Lin Feng was moving towards him as well. He looked as cold and expressionless which sent shivers down the man's spine. Heavy mountain fist, shouted the man in the grey robes. He surprisingly still had the ability to attack Lin Feng from such a dangerous position. His fist attack was extremely powerful. At that moment, he had a strange and evil expression within his eyes. At that moment, a clear and distinct sound spread through the atmosphere. It was as if something was being cut apart. The man in the grey robes wanted to move but couldn't. The forearm of the man in the grey robes was firmly being held by Lin Feng and his other hand was holding a mysterious dagger. The glow that it was diffusing couldn't be seen because the blade of that dagger had already penetrated into the throat of the man in the grey robes. Only the handle of the mysterious dagger could be seen. The eyes of the man in the grey robes were still looking at Lin Feng's incomplete shadow. That attack had been so quick. How could he possibly be that quick? Besides, how could he dodge his fist attack so easily? In your next life, you should serve a righteous person, said Lin Feng coldly while pulling his mysterious dagger out of the man's throat. Blood poured onto the ground. The man's throat immediately collapsed, and blood gushed forth. Even though he was dead, both his eyes were still open as if he was unable to close his eyes in death and pass on peacefully. Lin Feng wiped the blood from his dagger and put it away. His facial expression became cold and indifferent once again. He was calmly looking at the man's corpse. That man was of the seventh Qi layer. He was extremely powerful. If Ba Dao hadn't been there to distract him then Lin Feng would have never been able to defeat him so easily. At that moment, Ba Dao and Yi Shui moved down the stairs. They looked at Lin Feng's handsome face and were deeply moved. What a genius! Lin Feng was only about 17 years old, but his strength was monstrous. He had killed the man with a single deadly strike. He had immediately gone for the man's vitals. Ba Dao knew he had become powerful over time. He had evolved in an environment full of blood and fighting. That's how he had become so powerful. But Lin Feng, his qi and blade force were very dense, and his fighting abilities were extremely high. His attacks were almost masterful. A light also flashed in Yi Shui's eyes. A moment before, she thought that Lin Feng was weak because he had only broken through to the fifth Ling Qi layer but at that moment, she didn't have the same impression any longer. She also hadn't thought that such a handsome face was hiding under the silver mask, which made her unable to break her gaze from Lin Feng, she couldn't look anywhere else. Let's go, said Lin Feng. After saying that, he started walking and left the restaurant.
Ba Dao and Yi Shui followed behind him like before. They were closely following Lin Feng. Behind them there was only a corpse lying on the ground in the restaurant. In the blink of an eye, a strong cultivator of the seventh Ling Chi layer had been slaughtered by two people who were weaker than him, in the presence of the entire restaurant. No matter if it was the slave with the name, Ba Dao, marked on his face or the handsome and delicate looking young man, the crowd just had the impression that they had just dreamt what had happened. Suddenly, a black silhouette appeared and moved inside the restaurant. The crowd was surprised again. That black silhouette hadn't emitted any noise, just like a ghost or a spirit. It had just appeared in front of them. Such a thing was terrifying. He died, said the mysterious silhouette. When the black silhouette saw the corpse on the floor, it looked irresolute. The hand of the black silhouette moved, and a strong energy was released. It enveloped the dead body and immediately the body disappeared. The entire crowd was incredibly surprised. A mixture of veneration and dread filled thoughts rushed through the minds of the onlookers. Zon Chi Layer That black silhouette was of the Zon Chi Layer and seemed to have been following the people from a moment before. The black silhouette flickered and disappeared from the crowd's vision. A short instant later, it appeared outside of the restaurant. It was looking into the distance then the silhouette flickered again, and it disappeared from that location. Suddenly, the black silhouette was surprised and stopped moving. Because at that moment, there was a calm looking person who had blocked the path of the black silhouette. That person was whiter than snow and it was floating in the air like a celestial being. It was a woman, and the black silhouette could only see her back. Even if one wanted to pass, it seemed impossible. She looked like a glacier separating him from his desired location. How monstrous! The black silhouette could determine that that holy and pure silhouette was an extremely strong cultivator of the Zon Chi layer. She was very dangerous. You followed us for such a long time. Now you have finally stopped. That holy and pure silhouette slowly turned around. Her face was covered by a fine veil. People could only guess what was underneath and would be very eager to gaze under the veil. The black silhouette hadn't been so anxious for a very long time but at that moment his heart was pounding inside his chest. Breathtaking. Stunning. At that moment, a stunning body was slowly moving towards the black silhouette. The atmosphere was becoming colder and colder. Following every single movement, a freezing coldness invaded the atmosphere. The atmosphere around that person was covered with frost. That was a very strange coldness. Even strong cultivators who were far away were looking in that direction gasping in astonishment. The expression of the black silhouette seemed to have solidified and a shiver ran down his spine. The silhouette transformed and shot away like an arrow being released from a bow. He released a violent energy from his hand as he retreated. Ice heart. The white silhouette just said these two words. At that moment, the body of the black silhouette started shaking from head to toe. These two words seemed to have encircled his heart with a layer of ice as if it was trapped by the ice. An ice cold chi was released in the atmosphere. The black silhouette resisted the extreme coldness. The energy that had been released from his hand had turned white and had frozen inside the atmosphere. This scene looked like a dream. The ice in the atmosphere was growing thicker and thicker. It seemed like the entire atmosphere was covered with a layer of ice. The energy emerging from the hand of the black silhouette were bombarding against the white ice. But that freezing white ice seemed to be endless, as if the entire world belonged to this ice. Ice reigns over the world. A cold and detached voice came from that stunning silhouette. The entire atmosphere suddenly froze solid and there was not a movement to be seen. The black silhouette suddenly sensed an extreme coldness invade his body. He quickly thrust his palm forward. A pure energy started pouring out from the black silhouette's palm. But in that world of ice, everything seemed to belong to the ice. The ice was becoming thicker and thicker. It seemed like the entire world was turning into a single block of ice, oppressing the body of the black silhouette. Finally, his body and heart were completely frozen. What did they see? That world of ice was actually a gigantic block of ice as big as a house. Such a thing seemed like a dream. After a long time, 
that block of ice finally started to crack and rapidly started melting under the hot sun. Ice cold water started to flow down onto the ground. In the middle, there was a black silhouette which had been frozen in the moment of its death. This person was already long dead but had been frozen in the scene of their own death. That black silhouette had once been an extremely strong cultivator of the Zan Qi layer but at that moment, it was only a frozen corpse. It was silent and breathless, it was completely lifeless. Chapter 166, Slave Exchange Lin Feng had no idea what had happened after he had left the restaurant. Even though he had a little bit of a sixth sense, he had never sensed that a cultivator of the Zan Qi layer was following him. Lin Feng hadn't realized that Meng Qing was also following him the whole time. She had been following him since the moment when he left the Celestial Academy. She had never once left his side. Lin Feng had put on his silver mask again, which gave him a majestic and cold appearance. He wasn't the only one for whom that was the case. It was the same for Ba Dao, who was on his side, who was now wearing a bronze mask. Ba Dao looked ferocious and savage, especially when wearing the bronze mask. Ba Dao, except for auctions and fights to the death, are there other places where cultivation slaves of the prisoner arena end up? Asked Lin Feng while walking down the street. Yes, muttered Ba Dao irresolutely. He then immediately nodded and said, No need to talk about those who have already died in the arena. The ones who are docile and obedient enough are allowed to stay inside their cages to be sold. Those who aren't sold at an auction will eventually be sent to the black market. Many of them are sold on the black market to people who need cultivation slaves. Lin Feng looked at Ba Dao. It was clear that he was very stubborn and hardly the docile type. Where can we buy slaves? Asked Lin Feng. I don't know, replied Ba Dao while shaking his head. He then added, I have never been a witness to slaves being bought before. I am just familiar with what happened to me. Lin Feng looked pensive. Then, Yi Shui, who was standing on his side, said, There is a slave exchange where you can purchase slaves, it's widely known in this district. The wealthy and noble cultivators go to the slave exchange when they need slaves. They can exchange purity stones or other items and receive slaves. Exchange? Lin Feng was surprised. Surprisingly, there were places called slave exchanges. Yi Shui, take me to the slave exchange said Lin Feng indifferently. Yi Shui was surprised. She looked at Lin Feng and immediately nodded. All right. They immediately started walking. Soon, they had arrived at the slave exchange. Lin Feng could already see the slave exchange from a distance, as the roads of the city were vast and wide. When he saw the slave exchange, his pupils shrank. On both sides of the road, there was a large number of cages with slaves inside. Their powerful masters were sitting there looking indifferent, waiting for people to come and buy their slaves. In that place, slaves were like animals. There was nothing humane about the slave exchange. These slaves were war prisoners, prisoners sentenced to death, or people who had offended an influential clan. For example, those who had survived the massacre of the Yunhai sect had been turned into slaves by Duan Tian Lang. These survivors were humiliated and maltreated to the extent that they wished that they could die. Many of them did. Besides, the exchange marketplace was very busy. People were unceasingly walking on the central road and buying slaves. There were some very strong slaves and they belonged to the noble families that had purchased them. Lin Feng and the two others entered the slave exchange. They glanced at all the cages on both sides. There were all sorts of slaves skinny ones as well as robust ones. There were also extremely attractive male and female slaves. The nobles of the city who were fond of beauties could buy them in order to enjoy various pleasures. Master Feng, this area is for slaves who are mainly at the Qi layer. Slaves of the Ling Qi layer are very expensive. The large clans of the imperial city have the monopoly over them. Don't even give them a look. At that moment, Yi Shui explained these things to Lin Feng. She didn't know why Lin Feng would want to come to that place. However, if Lin Feng was going to buy slaves, then it was no use to look at slaves of the Qi layer. 
All right, let's go and see the slaves of the Ling Chi layer, replied Lin Feng. He started walking again, but he didn't feel comfortable, and he actually felt very uneasy seeing the scenes around him. Each and every slave was staring at their group. It was clear that these slaves had been mistreated, and the master looked truly disgusted. This was the impurity of the world. Shortly after, they arrived at the middle of the slave exchange. It didn't look like the outside area at all. While the rest of the exchange was like a market, the area here was a small ancient castle. Master, this is the biggest place to exchange slaves. 80% of them are slaves of the Ling Chi layer. Yi Shui whispered these words into Lin Feng's ears. Outside of the ancient castle, a silhouette was intensely staring at Lin Feng and the others. When a slave merchant heard Yi Shui call Lin Feng, Master Feng he quickly interrupted. Master, did you come here to purchase slaves? I can guarantee you that you will find very high quality slaves here. Show me, said Lin Feng indifferently. His eyes under his silver mask were fearless. As you wish, master. Please follow me, said the slave merchant sounding extremely polite while smiling. Lin Feng and the two others entered the building, which looked like a small fortress. The interior was huge, only half of the cages were locked while others had been left open. The interior was full of slaves. They were all sitting on the floor looking sluggish. When they saw Lin Feng enter, a deadly chi started invading the entire atmosphere. Master, you can choose one from here. The number of chains that they have on their body represents their strength. If they have one chain, it means that they have broken through to the first Ling Chi layer. Or if they have five chains, it means that they have broken through to the fifth Ling Chi layer. Said the slave merchant to Lin Feng. Lin Feng could look at the slaves and determine their strength depending on the number of chains on their body without them having to move. There are 200 slaves of the Ling Chi layer here. The strongest ones are at the sixth Ling Chi layer. Their masters must be from the influential clans, thought Lin Feng as he roughly glanced at the slaves. There were about 200 slaves, and they had all broken through to the Ling Chi layer. Besides, they were all quite young. If they had all been outside slavery, they would have definitely been an influential power. They could have even composed a small sect. Master, don't worry, all of them have come from the prisoner arena. Amongst them, some were disciples of the Yun Hai sect, which was destroyed by Duan Tian Lang. Many of them used to be elite disciples or even core disciples. There is absolutely no chance for you to be disappointed. The slave merchant was talking attentively. Lin Feng was greatly astonished. Disciples of the Yun Hai sect? He had finally found some of them. Last time, Lin Feng had heard that many people of Yun Hai sect had ended up at the prisoner arena. He was hoping to find some of the former disciples of the Yun Hai sect, which is why he had come to this place. I plan to go hunt some extremely strong ferocious beasts in the forest, and for that, I need slaves to open the way. It seems like I ended up in the perfect place. Lin Feng was smiling. All these slaves looked at him with a cold glare. He wanted them to open the way for a strong ferocious beast. This meant that they were all going to be sacrificed. What a bastard, quote dot, master, you really came at the right moment, said the slave merchant while smiling. In his heart, the slave merchant was cursing Lin Feng. He didn't know which noble clan he was from, but he was stupid enough to tell the slaves his plans for them. What is the price for the slaves in here? Asked Lin Feng. Slaves of the first Ling Chi layer are 10 purity stones of medium quality. Those of the second Ling Chi layer are 30. Those of the third Ling Chi layer are 80. Those of the fourth Ling Chi layer are 200. Those of the fifth Ling Chi layer are 500. And those of the sixth Ling Chi layer are 1000. Lin Feng slightly nodded. He looked at all the slaves and said, those who were the former disciples of the Yun Hai sect can serve my purpose. Who will be coming with me? When the slave merchant heard him, he cursed him again. What an idiot! Even the slaves were looking at Lin Feng indifferently. There was no solution. Who would be willing to go with him? 
it wasn't written on any of their faces that they had once been disciples of the Yun Hai sect. If they didn't want to leave, they didn't need to. If they didn't say that they belonged to the Yun Hai sect, who would even know? Even Ba Dao and Yi Shui didn't understand Lin Feng's actions. But Lin Feng looked as calm and indifferent as before. He took out a ring and placed it onto his finger. Lin Feng had taken out a ring which looked ordinary, but when the slaves saw it, they were stupefied. That ring looked ordinary, but amongst these slaves, many of them had already seen it. It had belonged to the patriarch of the Yun Hai sect, Nan Gong Ling. They had already seen it on his finger many times. Chapter 167 Inspiration Each and every single disciple of the Yun Hai sect stood up and stared at Lin Feng, or more precisely, at his ring. They couldn't understand what was happening. But at that moment, Lin Feng put his hand on his waist and said to the slaves, Those willing to follow me, stand up. The hearts of these Yun Hai sect disciples were pounding. They were stupefied. Flashes of hope appeared in their eyes. That was the patriarch's ring. Lin Feng might be a disciple of the Yun Hai sect, just like them. I am willing to follow you. At that moment, a silhouette stood up and walked towards the edge of his cell. He looked excited. I am willing to follow you. I also want to follow you. More and more people were standing up and expressing themselves. The whole situation stupefied the slave merchant. He was deeply surprised by the actions of these slaves. Why were so many people willing to follow Lin Feng? They would certainly bring about their own destruction. Could it be that they found living here so horrible that they had chosen death? Ba Dao and Yi Shui were astonished too and looked at Lin Feng trying to get a hint of what was happening. Lin Feng had just said that he was looking for slaves to clear the path against some ferocious beasts. How could they be so willing to go with him? More than 30 slaves had stood up and were standing at the entrance of their cells. Lin Feng sighed with mixed emotions. The number of people who had managed to survive that day was quite important. They hadn't been killed on the spot but their lives were far from being one of happiness. They had been made into slaves and a great number of them had died in the prisoner arena. There were also many people that had been sold in the slave exchange previously. Release them, I want to buy all of them, said Lin Feng indifferently. A light flashed in the slave merchant's eyes and he slightly nodded. Even though he didn't understand what was happening, he couldn't deny that someone buying so many slaves at once was a large amount of business. Are you sure that you want me to release all of these slaves? At that moment, the slave merchant wasn't smiling any longer and was no longer trying to sell his slaves. He looked solemn and calm as if it was a completely different person. Lin Feng looked at the slave merchant in a strange way but, immediately after, was relieved. The slave merchant was concerned that Lin Feng wasn't strong enough and something bad would happen to him if he was unable to control the slaves. Yes, I am. Release them, said Lin Feng while nodding. It was clear to him that the slave merchant was worried about him not being strong enough, which would be problematic if he did not have the power to control all of these slaves. But did Lin Feng need to keep them under control? Since you have insisted, I will release them said the slave merchant while nodding. The slave merchant moved to the large cell in which most of the slaves were inside and unlocked it. He then said, those willing to follow him, come out one by one. If you dare do something suspicious, you will die. When the slave merchant finished talking, a deadly energy emerged from his body and spread into the air. A light flashed in Lin Feng's eyes. How powerful. The slave merchant had broken through to the seventh Ling Chi layer. It seemed like this person was a completely different person from the one a moment before. The slaves had their heads down and did not look anyone in the eyes. They were all moving out of the cell one by one so that each person could fit through the small door. Their hearts were pounding out of excitement. Very quickly, 32 people were standing by Lin Feng's side. How many purity stones? Calmly asked Lin Feng, eight slaves of the first Ling Chi layer, nine slaves of the second Ling Chi layer, seven slaves of the third Ling Chi layer, five of the fourth Ling Chi layer, 
three of the fifth Ling Chi layer and none of the sixth Ling Chi layer. That's 3,400 purity stones of medium quality, said the slave merchant after having counted the total in his head. Lin Feng slightly nodded, a light flashed and at that moment, a thick pure chi emerged. In Lin Feng's hand appeared a huge number of purity stones. He can store things in a pocket of space. The crowd was stupefied. Lin Feng surprisingly could store things into a special pocket. That didn't seem like an easy thing for one to achieve. You can count them if you would like. Lin Feng put all the purity stones on the ground while saying this. The slave merchant indifferently glanced at the ground and then immediately said while smiling, no need to count. You can leave with your slaves now. All right, said Lin Feng while slightly nodding. He turned around, looked at the slaves and said, come with me. When Lin Feng finished talking, he started walking. Those 32 slaves followed behind him as a group. Everybody's pace was surprisingly identical, and their formation was clear and neat which surprised everybody that saw. It didn't seem like that group of people came from the slave exchange at all. The way they moved in formation was way too strange. They looked like Lin Feng's subordinates, calmly following behind him. The slave merchant of the slave market looked at the backs of the departing slaves and a thought flashed through his mind. He then said, Master, walk slowly. Walking on the large road with 32 slaves would obviously attract everybody's attention. How could people outside not see the marks that the slaves had on their faces? Besides, they were still within the slave exchange. If they were outside then they would draw even more people's attention. In a mansion not far from the holy courtyard of Shui Yu, Lin Feng, Ba Dao, Yi Shui and 32 slaves were cultivating. The place they were training was a rocky terrain. There was a pavilion in the middle with a small bridge, flowing water and even a small lake. This was the mansion that Lin Feng just recently bought. He spent 500 purity stones of medium quality to buy the mansion which was incredibly expensive. Lin Feng needed a place for the slaves to stay. The Celestial Academy wasn't his after all. Even if he could enjoy all the benefits of the Academy, he couldn't draw everybody's attention by walking in with so many slaves following him. That would not have been appropriate. Each and every slave from the Yun Hai sect was looking at Lin Feng. They were curious to know who he was. They were very troubled by not knowing who it was under the mask. They all wanted that mask to be removed so they could see the face underneath. Who could be wearing the patriarch's ring? Lin Feng calmly glanced at the crowd and said, You've gone through a lot of hardships. While talking, he put his hand on his mask. The heart of the people in the crowd started beating faster. Lin Feng then slowly took off his mask. Boom! Seeing Lin Feng's face made the group completely shocked. Everybody knew the young man who was wearing the patriarch's ring. It was Lin Feng. That was the unique, exceptional and frivolous Lin Feng. Back in the days of the Yun Hai sect, Lin Feng had stood out because he had killed the elite disciples and he defeated top-ranking elite disciple, Wen Ren Yan. He was like a conquering hero. In the life and death arena, he had made the patriarch regret his actions and reflect upon his mistakes. How imposing was he when reprimanding the patriarch? Lin Feng had become a source of hope for the future of the Yun Hai sect. Everybody thought that, sooner or later, Lin Feng would make the Yun Hai sect rise again to new heights and regain its place in the Shui Yu country. But the Yun Hai sect, instead, had been the victim of a tragedy. And at that moment, they could see Lin Feng again. Their hearts were beating from just looking at the wonderful disciple of the Yun Hai sect standing there alive. It was the young man who had refused Duan Tian Lang's offer because he stayed true to his own convictions. They were infinitely touched and surprised by his actions. Lin Feng was still alive. Lin Feng had freed them from their slave status and took them from the slave exchange. They wouldn't have to live as slaves again and could regain their humanity. They wouldn't be enduring pain and humiliation on a daily basis. No need to look at me that way and no need to be too excited either. Don't forget that your faces still have the mark of the slave carved into them. 
your hearts are still filled with an endless shame, said Lin Feng when he saw that the crowd was growing excited. Lin Feng's coldness quickly ended the excited feelings that had begun. That's right, they still had the mark of a slave carved into their face, so they still had the status of slave. Have you forgotten how our sect was destroyed? How you forgotten the people who carved these letters into your faces? Said Lin Feng coldly. The crowd was filled with hatred. They hated Duan Tian Lang. He was the one who had destroyed the Yun Hai sect. They were marked as slaves because of him. He had made them become slaves. Because the Yun Hai sect was weak, it was destroyed. It didn't have the power to even defend itself. As far as you are concerned, you are weak. That is why you have the mark of a slave carved onto your face. This is why you were humiliated each day, said Lin Feng. He then slowly added, if you do not have enough strength, you will never break free from your status as a slave. You will, as before, remain slaves and could even get taken away just like an animal. Lin Feng's words were not pleasant to hear but every single sentence made their heartbeat even faster. Lin Feng was right though, if their strength didn't increase, they would never be able to change their destiny. If you are sick of being bullied and humiliated, if you want to change your destiny and not be a slave for your entire life, if you want to hold a festival to celebrate the end of your past hardships and humiliations, there is only one way, said Lin Feng, whose voice was becoming louder and louder, while looking at everyone in the crowd. He then spat out the following words, become stronger, unceasingly stronger, only the strong can change their destiny. Chapter 168, Forbidden, become stronger. All of these Yun Hai sect disciples were turning red, with anger boiling in their hearts. Lin Feng was right. If the Yun Hai sect had been strong, who would have been able to destroy it? If they were strong enough, they would have never had the mark of a slave carved into their faces. Exceptionally strong cultivators could annihilate a whole sect and even a country. This is what only the really strong cultivators could do. They could shake both heaven and earth. However, the weak of the world could only get bullied to the extent that they would become slaves and be treated like animals. This was the fate of the weak Yun Hai sect. Lin Feng looked at the crowd and felt that his words had the desired effect. They were all clenching their fists to the extent that their tendons could be seen on their arms. Their hearts had been filled with shame. Now they truly knew what the words humiliation and shame meant. They understood that, in this world, the weak would always be at the mercy of the strong. If their determination and willpower became stronger then they would also grow much stronger too. Suddenly a few agility techniques and martial skills appeared with a wave of Lin Feng's hand. They were from the temple of the Yun Hai sect. Now that he had become the patriarch, he needed to help the disciples become stronger, so they needed to have access to these skills. Nan Gong Ling, before dying, appointed me as the new patriarch of the Yun Hai sect. All of these martial skills and agility techniques are at the Zan level. You can look for a few which would be suitable for you. Once you find one, just go and practice it to perfection. Lin Feng laid these skills and agility techniques on the floor. Everybody was stupefied. Martial skills and agility techniques were extremely attractive to any cultivator. A few of the disciples rushed towards the agility techniques and martial skills to choose, but many people stayed in their initial position while staring at Lin Feng. Get back! Lin Feng moved forwards and released a burst of qi and force into the air which surprised the people who had already rushed forward to greedily choose their own skills. They all raised their head and looked at Lin Feng. Damn it! I said get back! Lin Feng's pupils shrank. He looked extremely cold. This group of disciples didn't understand why Lin Feng was losing his temper, but they all moved back towards the other disciples who were patiently waiting. Patriarch, amongst those who hadn't moved a moment before, there were some who suddenly decided to bow and give face to Lin Feng. The ones who rushed forward understood and bowed to Lin Feng as well and said, Patriarch. Lin Feng coldly looked at the crowd and said indifferently, You have all disappointed me. When they heard him, the crowd was stupefied. I don't want to hear you all call me patriarch. 
I just want to see how many of you can control your hearts when faced with greed. Someone who is just interested in satisfying their own interest and their own greed will never be able to gain a strong heart. They will never take into consideration the others around them and will only work to satisfy their own desires. I'm telling you, you're a bunch of idiots. Lin Feng said very impolitely. I don't know if it's because you've been slaves for too long but some of you no longer have honor and integrity. Do you think that I released you so you could greedily help yourselves to skills without showing the slightest bit of respect or consideration? Do you think that I wanted to hear you shout, Patriarch, to satisfy my own ego? Do you think I want people who will only call me Patriarch because I am the one with the power? What happens if the person with power changes? You all disappoint me. Lin Feng repeated himself again. The cheeks of the Yun Hai sect disciples who were bowing to Lin Feng felt like they were burning. Do you think I owe you something? I spent thousands of purity stones to buy your freedom. Could it be that you think I did this so you could continue to think of your own interests? Do you think I bought you so you could continue without a sense of integrity and honor? Do you think I need people who forget to show gratitude to those who show them kindness? If I teach you to only care about yourself and how to grow stronger than in the future, you might just end up selling out your comrades or even me. If I taught you that then you would be no better than the people who made you slaves. Lin Feng stared at the crowd and continued. Of course, because you have been living like animals, you may have forgotten what it is to act like a decent person. What I said just now is only to remind you of what it means to be a good person. You need to remember that in the future you will need to think about others and be selfless, or you may end up dead in the future. Remember that I don't want to hear any bullshit and I have heard enough from moronic people already. The people in the crowd looked at Lin Feng and slightly shook their heads, they had realized that their hearts had truly started to become selfish. Remember that you will be judged on your own choices, said Lin Feng, immediately after. He turned around and started walking away while saying, You can choose from any of the martial skills and agility techniques on the ground. You are not allowed to leave the pavilion. Use that time to meditate and train. In three months time, I will come back. Lin Feng started leaving while Yi Shui and Ba Dao were calmly following behind him. Ba Dao, you stay here too, said Lin Feng to Ba Dao. A martial skill appeared in Lin Feng's hand and he handed it over to Ba Dao. He then said with a soft tone, Ba Dao, that martial skill is perfect for you. Take it, learn it and practice it. If any of them try to run away after receiving their skills, kill them. When Lin Feng said the word, kill, a strong killing intent could be felt from him. Ba Dao and Yi Shui were stupefied when looking at Lin Feng. Lin Feng looked expressionless and continued to walk, leaving the mansion. Lin Feng only thought about the future of the Yun Hai sect from the beginning. This world was definitely a selfish and cruel world. These people were the former disciples of the Yun Hai sect. He had spent a fortune of purity stones to change their fate and had given them agility techniques and martial skills for only one reason, the Yun Hai sect. Lin Feng had saved them. But if they had chose to run away with the skills or continue to live selfishly then Lin Feng would kill them. If they showed no gratitude and had no honor then he would remove them. If they had chosen to run away and steal from the Yun Hai sect, then they should have thought about it. They would have known they were betraying the mercy of Lin Feng and the Yun Hai sect itself. Even if they were former disciples of the Yun Hai sect, why would Lin Feng need people who only thought selfishly and did not care about the Yun Hai sect or the kindness that Lin Feng had shown them? The former disciples in the mansion were the new generation of the Yun Hai sect. Lin Feng wasn't going to abandon them, but he was not going to let his sect be corrupted. Ba Dao who had stayed behind was watching Lin Feng's back as he left. He then started looking at the martial skill that Lin Feng had given to him, it made him shiver. Tyrannical Blade, a blade attack of pure energy, D-level martial skill of lower quality. Pure energy is released from the user in the form of blade which annihilates anything in its path. Tyrannical Blade, D-level martial skill of lower quality, 
Ba Dao whispered these words to himself as if he did not believe it. That martial skill seemed to be perfect for him. Besides, it was a terrifying technique of the D level. Ba Dao raised his head again and looked at Lin Feng's back. Lin Feng's heart was mysterious and unfathomable. But one thing was sure, he was an extremely intelligent person and he definitely had a very good nature. He had confidently given that martial skill to Ba Dao. He had faith in Ba Dao and trusted him, even though they had spent such a small amount of time together. Ba Dao was very moved by the trust that Lin Feng had shown him. He could never repay the kindness which Lin Feng continued to show him. Lin Feng returned to the Celestial Academy. He first brought Yi Shui to a suitable living quarter, and then immediately went to the Peach Orchard where he could hear a pleasant zither melody playing. Lin Feng had said three months to the slaves. This was not just for their cultivation but his as well. He wasn't going to forget his own cultivation for his battle against Hei Mo. At that moment, Lin Feng had broken through to the fifth Ling Qi layer and with his current power, he could defeat cultivators of the sixth Ling Qi layer. But Hei Mo was at the peak of the sixth Ling Qi layer. At the academy, those of a similar level couldn't even compete with him. Even many cultivators at the seventh Qi layer didn't dare to fight against him. Hei Mo was extremely powerful and could cross the gap in power between the layers. Hei Mo was one of the ten strongest students of the Celestial Academy and considering his talent, that was a well-deserved title. Besides, who could say that Hei Mo hadn't also become much stronger in these three months? Was he supposed to stay the same level for Lin Feng to catch up? Lin Feng's strength wasn't sufficient. He lacked in many areas compared to Hei Mo. Hei Mo could defeat a cultivator of the seventh Ling Qi layer with confidence, but Lin Feng would come close to death when fighting against one. He had defeated two cultivators of the seventh Qi layer. However, one had greatly injured him and the other had fought with someone. Like in the restaurant, if Ba Dao hadn't helped him, the man in the gray robes would have been very difficult to defeat alone. This is why Lin Feng went to the peach orchard to find serenity. Once he found serenity within his heart, he immediately headed towards the cultivation tower. What Lin Feng needed the most was to increase his cultivation. At that moment, Lin Feng didn't go to the higher floors at all. He immediately went to the fourth floor. Only by stepping on the floor, he could feel the deep and intense pure chi of heaven and earth fluctuating around him. It was extremely pure. Some people who passed the fourth floor saw Lin Feng who had stopped. It looked like he was looking for a training room within the cultivation tower. However, he was currently acting strangely. They didn't understand if Lin Feng was a new military student, since he didn't seem to understand how things worked. On the fourth floor, one thing that was important to know, each room was reserved by someone and the room was only used by them. In other words, each room on the fourth floor belonged exclusively to someone. Even if they weren't there and the room was empty, nobody would enter them. Therefore, when Lin Feng was checking the fourth floor, he surprisingly found that there were two cultivation rooms which were empty. Nobody was practicing inside them. Even more surprising was that the people who were passing by didn't stop and continued walking. In the middle of these two rooms was a stone tablet which had the word, Forbidden. Next to that was a name. Chapter 169. Who Kills? Forbidden. Lin Feng was reading the words written on stone which made him smile indifferently. The cultivation tower was one of the resources the Celestial Academy provided. It was there so that all of its students could benefit from it. Strong students could go to the cultivation rooms on the lower floors and have priority over other people but preventing other people from entering a cultivation room while not being there was much too exaggerated. Could they really prevent other students from accessing the resources of the academy when they are not even using them? Lin Feng stretched his hand and with a flick of his wrist, his chi erased the name on the stone. He didn't even look at the name that was written next, forbidden. Whoever that person who thought they owned the room wasn't important. That room was not being used. That was the main thing. Lin Feng took out his purity stones and placed them inside the hole to activate the room. 
At that moment, a light appeared from inside the room. The door of the cultivation room opened itself while emitting a loud rumbling noise. At that moment, a thick pure chi emerged which made Lin Feng feel both happy and comfortable. He took a deep breath. At the moment when Lin Feng was about to move inside the cultivation room, someone shouted, Stop! When Lin Feng heard that shout, he stopped and turned around. He saw a beautiful woman who was walking towards him. Surprisingly, it was a girl. She was wearing revealing clothes and looked very seductive. She was very slender and her waist was swinging with each of her steps. Each of her steps made her entire body look demonically bewitching. Her manner of walking looked both soft and smooth. A light flashed in Lin Fang's eyes. As far as that woman was concerned, her beauty wasn't equal to that of Lu Fei. Even though her body was very similar to Lu Fei, it was much more enchanting than Lu Fei's body. While walking, her back was straight and her chest was pushed forward. She looked very flirtatious and her waist was slender. Her forearms were folded comfortably under her chest. She could easily make most people burn with lewd desire. From the front, Lin Feng could even see her cleavage protruding from her clothes. Her snowy white bosom was very large. She looked very alluring. She simply looked perfect. If that woman had been a model in the previous world, she would have been internationally famous. Lin Feng was secretly talking to himself. Lin Feng suddenly controlled and made his heartbeat slow down again. His determination and willpower as a cultivator was very strong. He could control all of his bodily functions much better than ordinary people. Haven't you seen what's written by the door? This room is mine. The girl had a light smile on her face, but her eyes revealed a certain coldness. She actually looked insufferably arrogant. I really haven't seen anything. Lin Feng was speaking in a cold and detached tone. The girl took a few steps and looked at the stone between the rooms. Obviously, her name and the words, forbidden, couldn't be seen anymore. They had disappeared. Someone had completely erased them. Did you do that? The girl frowned while asking that question. At that moment, Lin Feng could feel the cold chi she released. Since you can carve things into the stone, why can't someone erase things from it? Replied Lin Feng indifferently without openly admitting that he was the culprit. She was looking at Lin Feng then suddenly, a bewitching and alluring expression appeared in her eyes which surprised Lin Feng. Immediately after, the girl walked towards another cultivation room and suddenly punched its door which emitted a loud noise. Lin Feng looked surprised. What was that girl doing? Why was she attacking the door of somebody else's cultivation room? What surprised Lin Feng the most is that she didn't stop hitting the door. She moved towards another door. Then she punched the other stone door which made it slightly shake. Loud noises spread through the air. A door slightly opened. A cold and detached voice spread through the atmosphere. An extremely cold chi emerged from the room. Who is it? Immediately after. The two people came out of their respective cultivation rooms. They were stupefied to see the alluring girl waiting for them. Deep in their heart, they were annoyed but the cold expression on their face vanished. With a big smile on their face, they said, Zhao Zhao, what's the problem? Zhu Ning, someone is bullying me. That girl was trying to look lovely so she could manipulate these two young men. She was holding on to one boy's arm while her large chest gently pressed against the other's body which made the one called Zhu Ning become frozen. He then started looking at her body looking like a crazed pervert. Their willpower and determination on the path of cultivation was high and they could easily stop themselves from losing their mind because of a woman's beauty. They both wouldn't lose themselves in her beauty. However, once in a while, they liked to enjoy carnal pleasures. People who would openly refuse such things were rare. Especially at the Celestial Academy, it was said that nobody had ever enjoyed being with this bewitching beauty. Yu Zhao was a gorgeous girl. The other young man, when he saw that Yu Zhao was pressing her breasts against Zhu Ning, looked extremely jealous. Yu Zhao made him drool with lewd desire. Unfortunately, he had never had the chance to be with her. At the Celestial Academy, the person who managed to spend a night in bed with her would become very famous. 
Kei Chang. That guy is surprisingly using my cultivation room. He even deleted my name from it. He is bullying a weak little girl like me. Yu Zhao moved away from Zhu Ning and then got very close to Kei Chang. She grabbed Kei Chang's hand and hugged it tightly. Kei Chang's forearm was in contact with her entire voluptuous body. Kei Chang had the impression that he was imploding with desire. Lin Feng was still calmly standing at his original place watching this scene unfold. That girl was using her body as a weapon. She had managed to arouse both Zhu Ning and Kei Chang. They were both fixedly staring at Lin Feng getting ready to fight for Yu Zhao. Trying to use Zhao Zhao's cultivation room was a reckless act on your part. Said Zhu Ning in a loud voice while coldly staring at Lin Feng. What an uneducated animal. Don't you understand the rules here? Said Kei Cheng while smiling coldly, unwilling to lose against Zhu Ning. Reckless? Animal? Lin Feng's expression was slightly cold. He looked at the two guys with a cold smile. They wanted to use Lin Feng to show off in front of this girl? Yu Zhao giggled and released Kei Cheng's arm. She then said while smiling, I'm free tonight. I don't know if either of you would be interested in joining me in my room, so I have someone to talk with. Zhu Ning and Kei Cheng were stupefied and glanced at each other. A smile appeared on their faces. Even if she had said it would only be to talk with them, it was already a very good start. They might even have the opportunity to enjoy carnal pleasures. Are you going first, or should I? Asked Zhu Ning to Kei Cheng. We're, of course, going together, said Kei Cheng with a cold smile on his face. If he said he wanted to go first, how could Zhu Ning accept? That's precisely what I thought, said Zhu Ning while smiling coldly and said, well, let's see who can kill him first. How does that sound? All right, the first to kill him wins, said Kei Cheng while nodding. Immediately after, the two students looked at Lin Feng with clear killing intent and then quickly rushed towards him. Sixth Ling Chi Layer These two guys were releasing a cold chi and force into the atmosphere so Lin Feng could determine their strength. They had broken through to the sixth Ling Chi Layer but they were still infinitely weaker than Ba Dao or Hei Mo. They still had a great deal to learn about cultivation. Boom! A terrifying energy invaded the atmosphere. Zhu Ning and Kei Chang's silhouettes were moving at incredible speeds. Get out of my way! Suddenly, a voice shouted, which stupefied Lin Feng. Zhu Ning, who had started moving towards Lin Feng at the same time as Kei Chang, was suddenly punching towards, not Lin Feng, but Kei Chang. I knew that you would do something like this sooner or later, said Kei Cheng while also attacking Zhu Ning. At that moment, an extremely strong wind emerged separating the two bodies from each other but immediately after, they started moving shoulder to shoulder towards Lin Feng. However, they both remained extremely vigilant of the other. Lin Feng was calmly standing there looking at the two students who were attacking him at the same time. The expression in Lin Feng's eyes clearly showed that he found this scene to be ridiculous. They were enemies and were fighting each other and at the same time they were also joining force to attack Lin Feng. Two stormy waves of energy vibrated in the air. Zhu Ning and Kei Cheng looked at each other again and immediately after they both punched towards Lin Feng. Suddenly, a piercing force moved towards Lin Feng at full speed. Zhu Ning, who was on the right side, had a hideous grin on his face. His left hand thrust out attacked Kei Cheng. They were both using their right hand to attack Lin Feng. At that moment, Kei Cheng was on Zhu Ning's left. If Kei Cheng wanted to attack Lin Feng, he had to dodge the strike from Zhu Ning. Kei Cheng groaned and shivered. He increased his speed even more to dodge Zhu Ning's attack and rushed forwards. His life is mine, said Kei Cheng with a hideous grin on his face. The palm of his hand was about to reach Lin Feng, but at that moment, a vast sword force suddenly burst out while emitting a whistling sound. It was extremely sharp and gave the impression of death. It was terrifying. That sword force made Kei Cheng's body become frozen in fright. A glow of light suddenly emerged in the air. In that bright resplendent light, a thick and gray deadly chi was floating. 
This doesn't look good, said K. Cheng whose facial expression drastically changed. How was this possible? He knew all the strong military students, but he had never seen Lin Feng. How could Lin Feng be so strong? Besides, how could he control such a powerful sword force? Zhu Ning was one step behind Kei Cheng and his expression had also drastically changed. He suddenly stopped moving and froze in place. That young man was strong. He could sense the terrifying power of that bright and resplendent glow. Retreat. That was Kei Cheng only thought at that moment. He didn't want to attack Lin Feng. He had looked down on Lin Feng. He had attacked him alone because he wanted to avoid Zhu Ning's attack. He hadn't been given any time to think. When he stopped and wanted to retreat, that bright and resplendent sword glow had already reached him. Kei Cheng was gasping with astonishment. He regretted that he had taken the initiative to attack Lin Feng alone. He was attentively looking at the resplendent sword which had finally reached him. Immediately after, his head no longer had a body to call its own. Boom, 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 boom. Zhu Ning and Yu Zhao's heartbeats could be heard, resounding through the atmosphere. They were fixedly staring at the corpse of Kei Cheng on the ground and were shaking with fear. Beheading Kei Cheng without a second thought had taught them a good lesson. A lesson which needed to be paid in blood. You killed Kei Cheng inside the cultivation tower, said Zhu Ning while staring at Lin Feng. Lin Feng looked at Zhu Ning as if he was joking. When they wanted to kill him, they didn't care that they were inside the cultivation tower but when they found out that he was stronger than them, they immediately remembered the rules. It was as if they had selective memory when it came to them killing people. Not only did I kill him, but I will also kill you. Lin Feng's words coldly flowed from his mouth. He then slowly started walking towards Zhu Ning whose heart started violently pounding. Chapter 170, Sword Awakening. Yu Zhao was staring at Lin Feng. Her bewitching look had disappeared. Now she only looked like a scared little girl. A moment before, the qi which Lin Feng had released was only at the fifth Ling Qi layer, but he knew how to control sword force to perfection. He had killed Kei Cheng because Kei Cheng had underestimated him. He hadn't really paid attention to his opponent. However, it was undeniable that Lin Feng was very strong even without this fact. Indeed, his strength was enough to threaten some cultivators at the sixth Ling Qi layer. Yu Zhao frowned. She had never seen Lin Feng either, which is why she had despised Lin Feng for removing her name, but because of her carelessness, Kei Cheng had lost his life. Yu Zhao giggled and said, Zhu Ning, Kei Cheng was so useless. He underestimated his opponent. Even though that guy knows how to control forces, a cultivator at the sixth Ling Qi layer is definitely able to defeat him. Said Yu Zhao with a gentle smile on her face. She had first told him that Kei Cheng was useless and that he had underestimated the opponent, but then she told him that a cultivator at the sixth Ling Qi layer could definitely defeat Lin Feng. Since one had already been killed, this was weird logic. Zhu Ning frowned. Even though he knew that Yu Zhao was trying to incite him to fight, he also thought that what she said was true. Could a cultivator at the fifth Ling Qi layer defeat him because he knew how to control forces? Zhu Ning looked irresolute for a few seconds and then the fear disappeared from his heart. He blinked and instantly became ready to battle once again. Zhu Ning, could it be that you're scared because Kei Chang died? Yu Zhao's voice sounded strange. Zhu Nin was stupefied. He gnashed his teeth and while looking at Lin Feng, he said, How could I be scared? He's just a brat at the fifth Ling Qi layer, that's all. Lin Feng smiled coldly and said jokingly, Why are you still standing there then? Zhu Ning was stupefied by Lin Feng's confidence and coldness. An ugly expression appeared on his face. His heart started beating faster. At that moment, a pair of eyes appeared behind Zhu Ning. They were hovering mid-air and looked like the eyes of an eagle. They looked extremely sharp and fierce. From the moment that the pair of eyes appeared, Zhu Ning's expression also became strange and evil. 
It's his spirit. Lin Feng was astonished. What was floating behind Zhu Ning was obviously a spirit. However, what shocked Lin Feng was that he had never seen such a spirit. Lin Feng was surprised, but he knew that the continent of the Nine Clouds was vast. Lin Feng just didn't know exactly to what extent. The Shui Yu country was just one of the countries in the continent. There were, in total, four empires and nine countries. This was only the Shui Yu country, an ordinary country. The number of spirits he had never seen were almost infinite. Roaring thunder, Lin Feng's sword slightly vibrated and he thrust forwards. Thunderous roars were spreading through the atmosphere with his attack. Zhu Ning's two strange eyes were staring at Lin Feng. Surprisingly, he remained motionless and was waiting for Lin Feng to make the first move. He just slightly turned and avoided Lin Feng's attack with extreme precision. At the same time, Zhu Ning raised his hand. He thrust his hand forward, which gave a similar feeling to the spirit. It was emitting a sharp resplendence as it moved straight towards Lin Feng's eyes. This was a truly diabolic attack. Lin Feng's long sword made a buzzing sound as it rotated in the air to block the attack. Zhu Ning's body simply moved to another angle with his hand still rushing towards Lin Feng's eyes. Lin Feng slightly crouched and jumped backwards using his moonlight feather agility. Then, without hesitation, he started his next attack. His sword started to glow as it moved as swiftly as thunder towards Zhu Ning. Your sword probably wishes it had met another opponent and not me. Said Zhu Ning in a cold tone. His body slightly moved, and he avoided Lin Feng's attack again. However, this time, it was very extremely close. An iota closer and Zhu Ning would have been struck by Lin Feng's sword. Those two eyes can predict my actions from my movements and help him dodge my attacks. My celestial spirit gives me a similar ability to see things as if they were in slow motion. Lin Feng sheathed his sword and started to think. His energy gradually became colder. He looked expressionless. His eyes suddenly became pitch black. When he noticed the changes to Lin Feng's body, Zhu Ning frowned. Lin Feng's chi had suddenly changed. Lin Feng looked completely void of emotion. This change made Zhu Ning's heart beat faster. If Zhu Ning's eyes were strange and evil, Lin Feng's eyes, at that moment, were those of nightmares. They were cold, expressionless and didn't even look like something that should belong to a human being. You say my sword wishes it met another opponent, said Lin Feng with a deep tone. An extreme coldness suddenly moved towards Zhu Ning's body. The sword force was growing sharper and sharper. It also contained a deadly chi. Deadly sword, said Lin Feng while unsheathing his sword, which looked like an illusion, as he threw himself towards Zhu Ning. Zhu Ning groaned and then a swift and fierce chi emerged from his strange and evil eyes. His body slightly flickered and dodged the sword attack. Fatal sword. Lin Feng still looked expressionless. His sword moved through the air again. He was now releasing a fatal chi. A fatal chi surrounded Zhu Ning's body as well, which made him feel like he had been frozen. Even though he was of the sixth Ling Chi layer, he didn't dare approach Lin Feng's sword. Sword masters who knew how to use sword force were much too powerful. His body transformed into an illusion. Lin Feng's fatal sword moved even faster, forming an arch-shaped trajectory in the air. He could still see it very clearly and avoid it with precision. At that moment, Lin Feng was fixedly staring at Zhu Ning. Through his eyes, Zhu Ning was moving extremely slowly, so Lin Feng could see everything very clearly and distinctly. Lin Feng could see Zhu Ning, just like Zhu Ning could see Lin Feng's sword. Lin Feng's sword kept moving in the air. His sword was unceasingly moving to where Zhu Ning was. He was continuously changing the trajectory of his sword, making Zhu Ning retreat backwards. While looking at the sword, Zhu Ning kept moving backwards. A cold expression appeared on Lin Feng's face. He then said in a low voice, It's the end. He sounded very calm and emotionless. His words were also filled with confidence. All of this made Zhu Ning's heart race. Immediately after, 
he had the impression that the sword force had completely vanished, and nothingness had replaced everything around him. It wasn't cold anymore and there was no sharpness either. There was only one sword, an incredibly ordinary sword moving towards him. Zhu Ning was staring at that sword, and he didn't feel convinced. He was curious to see how that attack could end the battle. Zhu Ning slightly moved leftwards and then his pupils shrank. The sword was still aiming at his chest. His evil and strange eyes emitted a sharp light. Zhu Ning's body flickered again. He was staring at that simple sword. What shocked him was that Lin Feng's sword looked like a snake that followed him wherever he moved. There was absolutely no deviation and it continued to move towards his heart. Besides, what terrified Zhu Ning was that the sword was getting closer and closer. How's this possible? I couldn't have missed his movements I have an eagle eye spirit. Zhu Ning's heart was pounding. He suddenly realized that that simple looking sword was actually the same deadly and fatal sword as before. The closer the sword was getting, the more Zhu Ning wanted to escape. He then realized that his spirit was willing to escape, but his flesh was unable to. Since he wasn't able to dodge, he raised his two hands to block. A swift and fierce energy emerged in the atmosphere, making Zhu Ning's heart drop. His face revealed that he had finally given up all hope. That energy was much more powerful than the endless force Lin Feng had released earlier. That ordinary sword was actually an energy attack. Lin Feng was also looking at his sword as it consumed the energy around it. It looked like force, but it was all the energy within the atmosphere which enhanced the attack power. Energy attacks were a mixture of all the qi and force present. It was delicate and subtle. This attack contained a perfect combination of all sword energy. Every time, the attack looked simple but was extremely powerful. That was the magic of a real energy attack. Lin Feng's eyes returned to normal, and he didn't look expressionless anymore. Instead, there was a smile on his face. Energy fusion required for energy attacks was similar to using force. It was just the next level above forces. Depending how much a cultivator practiced, it was only possible to control energy attacks after having mastered a force to perfection. Besides, just like for forces, there were different levels of mastery. At that moment, Lin Feng had only reached the first level of mastery with his fusion of energy. At that moment, Lin Feng's sword didn't penetrate into Zhu Ning's body in an extraordinary way. It softly pierced into his chest, and in the blink of an eye, all of his internal organs were destroyed. Zhu Ning's eyes were blankly staring at Lin Feng. The evil and strange expression in his eyes disappeared. He then said his last words, I regret so much. He only managed to say that before he died. Lin Feng looked expressionless. Zhu Ning's body collapsed lifelessly on the floor with blood flowing from his chest. Lin Feng then turned his attention towards Yu Zhao, sending shivers down her spine. End of chapters.